Alright, this video is to show you how to trade Pokemon using an emulator. Um, this is just a list of things you'll need. You can pause the video and look at what you need to do this step. It took me a lot of time to figure this all out, so um, yeah, one step and it'll not work for you. This is also really important. Um, uh, the other thing is you need to be far enough in the game to be able to actually do a trade. Uh, I was trying to use a ROM that I wasn't far enough in the game that would like you have to get to the fourth gym I think and gold before you can do and talk to Bill and he opens the time capsule but if you don't if you're not that far in the game you'll not be able to trade. So you need to make sure both the ROMs um you can trade. This this bit here is just showing you that if you try and bring a generation two back to the time machine it will not work. It'll say you have to it will not work so <laughs> just swap it for a wee crap Pokemon that you can swap. Um anyway so as when you go back to the time machine here you'll see that it will now let you use the time machine because you don't have any generation 2 Pokemon. Now what I'm going to do is save, like in-game save like this. You have to do this on both the ROMs. You can't do, notice here I'm pressing the top right. If you do a save state it will not work. You have to do an in-game save. You have to, uh, it's the same, I've just loaded up red here. Same thing, do an in-game save. There's Swirtle, that's how I'm going to swap. The other thing is, uh, make sure you save it right beside the Pokemon Center and both of them so you don't have to walk for ages to get to it. That's how I did. notice I saved them both at the trading place. Okay, next you're going to open up WinSCP on your Windows. If you don't know how to SSH, there's loads of YouTube videos on how to do it. So what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to um, VAR, Pri uh, Mobile, and then ROMs, Game Boy, and you'll see all these files here. The files you're interested in are the uh, .gb and the .sav files for the two ROMs that you're going to trade between. So the other three files don't matter, um, as you can see. So what you want to going to do is you drag out the gbc file if it's a Game Boy Color game and gb file if it's um, not color. Um, now I'm just opening up the files you get with TPG Jewel, which you just uh, Google TPG Jewel and you'll find there's loads of links for it. So when you open it, you'll have um, you'll have this option. I'm just deleting this because I already have a file in here. But what you want you have to open up the save folder in TGB Jewel and drag the both the SAV files from the two games that you're going to use. So that's the first one there. Gold I'm going to use and red. So drag both of the files from your iPhone files to the save folder in TGB Jewel. And this will say yeah, so copy it over. Now this is an important step. You have to, you have to again. Um, you put the ROMs in the media folder. I've already put them in, as you can see, they're already there. But you're gonna have to drag them in from your phone into that folder for the two games. Um, I have three games, but that doesn't matter. You just do the two. Um, this is a really important step. This one, you have to do this. You have to rename the second. What well, it doesn't matter. One of them, you have to rename. Change the SAV to an SA two. That number two, you have to do that, otherwise it won't work. Um, once you do that, open up TBG Jewel, um, Game Boy One Load. The first one has to be the SAV file. So if you've named Red to SA two, then load that up in the GB two slot, like I'm doing now. And um, now this will read the save file you've just dragged off your phone. So when you continue, you'll see it'll both be in the Pokemon Center. There it should be. There's the first one. And um, the second one. Yeah, it works. Uh, next, you're just gonna press. Um, the other thing is, sorry, on TGB Jewel, the keyboards might not be configured properly. I didn't do it in this video. I'm sorry, but if you see there, file options help. Click options and then keyboard, and just you can assign uh, each Game Boy. You can assign A and B buttons to whatever keys you want. So just make sure they're different. Um, so you can control both the Game Boys at the same time, and then obviously just go up and press A on both the Game Boys and um, you'll be allowed into the Trade Center like you would if you were just trading normally on the Game Boy. So now you're in the Trade Center and it's just exactly how it was on the Game Boy. Um, it's just like you're connected with the link, link cable. So yeah, I'm going to swap, not me too. Um, yeah, I'm not actually going to save this but as you can see on the left I have all my Generation 1 Pokemon there, U2 and Charizard and stuff. Uh, so yeah, you can just go to trade there. You have to do trade in both. I don't know. I made a mistake there. Sorry, Abra trade, uh, and again, it's just like it would have been normally. So click trade, and the trade will go go through like normal. Um, 
so there it is, blah blah. This sorry, this takes ages. Sorry, um, it's my phone. <laughs> You're gonna. The next step is very important. After the trade is complete, as soon as you close one of those windows, it automatically saves, which is handy, and it it, it saves it in the SAV format, which I'll show you now. Um. Anyway, there's the trade done. Oh, okay, it's not done. Sorry. Sorry, I was just saying about the SAV. Whenever you go back into the save file in TGB Jewel, when you close this, it will have saved it for you, which I'll show you now. Okay, great. The trade's done. Um, now you just press cancel on both Game Boys. I pressed it on one, sorry. And then on the left, you can just walk out. I would advise you not to save red because it means you can kind of, you've just duplicated the Pokemon. If you don't save that, then you'll still have it on your original red, so you have it on both. And there you go, you can see Scarlet's been transferred over. So see the way I just closed it now, and if I click on the save file, and, um, if you look, Pokemon Go last modified, it was 3, or I can't read that, 308. That's exactly when. So that is, that is now saved, that file. So what you're going to have to do is, there's the old one in the SSH, or in your iPhone. So, uh, these three files here, this took me ages to figure out. You back them all up, cop make, please make copies of them before you do this, because I'm not sure, J just in case something happens, just copy and save them on your computer in case something goes wrong. But the other three files, not the GBC, not the SAV, the other three files, you delete them. Otherwise, when you load it up, it'll load the old file. I'm not going to do it because I don't want scroll. Um, then you just copy the new SAV file over to your iPhone. So you should have only the ROM and the new SAV file in your iPhone. You shouldn't have the other three. That's the bit that I kept going wrong in and nobody else seems to have explained that I was just trial and error. So once you do that and copy it over, that should be it. Um, 